The thundering of hooves as horses make the turn and head for home is part of the reason why race superintendents were in Lexington to make sure the track is safe for horse and rider. You know, this is not working in a cubicle. There's some people that this is really the dream job. This grader isn't being used to build a new road. It is a sophisticated piece of equipment used on the Keeneland race course to grade the surface of the track here in the heart of horse country in Lexington. That's what brought these future racetrack superintendents to the bluegrass. One of the beauties of working with Keeneland is, number one, they're a huge supporter of safety in the industry, but also they have both a synthetic and a dirt track. They've got an older grader they use as a backup, and they've got a brand new grader. So one of our goals with this class has been to give them exposure to a range of equipment. Keeneland's main track is a dirt surface, but this day the superintendents were at Keeneland's training track, which is synthetic. Each one in the class got the chance to operate this high-tech grader. By providing a consistent track surface, it allows the superintendents to take that issue off the table and look at other pieces of the safety puzzle. You know, without a good foundation, you can't have a good structure. And, um, you know, so this, this class is a great opportunity for people like myself and uh, fellow classmates to be able to learn uh, through some important people like Mick Peterson and Dennis Moore on practices and methods that can help minimize the risk factor of injuries uh, to horses and riders. Harrison Young said the pitch of the track is integral to drainage and the foundation is one of the most important characteristics of the track in order to have a consistent cushion for safety. So what is ground penetrating radar? Besides being at Keeneland and operating the grader, these up-and-coming superintendents also spent time in the classroom at an engineering firm and the racing services testing laboratory. Right now, the important thing is to get the information to the people who need it. And they're eager to see it. They're not, they're not necessarily looking at what they get. They just want to know that they're going to learn something that they can use in their job. The superintendents will receive certificates for attending the training, which is part of a continuing education certification. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food and Environment, I'm Jeff Franklin.